Hey guys, I uh, thought I'd do a voiceover for this video. I'm just showing you my meals um, on, in the span of three days. First meal I'm showing is breakfast, um, and I'm having flax plus red berry cereal. Really good cereal. It kind of reminds me of the Special K strawberry flavor. And um, I like to have it with uh, cashew milk. For lunch, um, I decided I wanted to have a burrito bowl, um, and what I'm I'm adding uh, brown rice and black beans and mixing them up. Next, I'm adding a uh, go veggie vegan Mexican cheese, the shredded kind. This cheese doesn't really melt, so uh, if you wanted a bit melty, you would have to put it in the microwave for a few seconds and that'll do the trick. And uh, I'm dicing up some red onion and some tomato to add to the to the bowl. I'm also going to add some guacamole. Here I'm using a quarter of a gigantic avocado and mashing it up really well. And I just like to add salt and lime juice to my guacamole. Uh, I like it pretty plain. I don't like to mask the flavor of the avocado too much. Here is everything uh, as I'm assembling it. This was a really good lunch. Um, it filled me up a lot. It actually filled me up so much that uh, I didn't even eat a proper dinner. I just had a big bowl of fresh watermelon. This was a really good watermelon. It was really sweet and I always like, I always feel lucky when I get a good watermelon. So this is the next morning and um, I was uh, wrapping up, um, sauteing some, some veggies. And here I'm making a chickpea omelet. It's basically a, a big savory pancake using garbanzo bean flour, chickpea flour. I added a lot of flour this day um, because I was trying to figure out the ratio. Like at first it was too dry, then too watery, then I had to add more and I came up with this gigantic thing and it was really good. I was hungry this day so I hit the spot. I like to top it with my favorite salsa and uh, usually if I have avocado I'll throw that on there as well. This is uh, a post-workout juice um, because I ate a big breakfast. I, I wanted watermelon but I didn't want to chew it and it, I was too full so I decided I, I had to use up this watermelon anyway so I just decided to blend it really quickly and um, all I did is run it through um, a strainer to catch the pulp that way I just have the the delicious juices within and I ended up a uh, adding aloe vera water to bulk it up a bit and you don't taste aloe vera it was really refreshing i like this juice a lot i had a peach also and i was still hungry so a little bit later i decided to have a good old peanut butter and jelly sandwich this is my favorite method of making pb and j sandwiches
I find that it sticks together really well and you get a bunch of flavor in each bite. Uh, for a little snack, I had tortilla chips with hummus dip. Kind of like chips and queso. And then right here I had a really small, lazy dinner of white rice and a boca chicken patty. And um, I ended up adding a, an avocado piece that was about to go bad. It was still good though, just kind of ugly. And I added some soy sauce to it. This was really good um, if you're looking for a cheap, lazy meal. So um, this is the next morning. I really wanted um, another big breakfast, so I decided to make uh, tacos, breakfast tacos. Throwing a little uh, earth balance butter into the pan, and I'm crumbling up some tofu. And um, because I want it to taste like egg, I have this salt called Kala Namak, I believe. I got it from the Indian store. Um, it's very sulfury and stinky. It it tastes. I think it tastes like eggs, so it's really cool. Um, and then I'm making kind of like oil-free refried beans. It's just um, heated up black beans that I cooked in the crock pot, and I'm just blending it in my little my little bullet blender till it's very nice and smooth. And I also roasted some potato cubes, kind of like home fries. And uh, now I'm assembling the tacos. I put a layer of the black beans down first. That way it kind of, kind of acts like a glue for the food to not fall out. I think it also adds structure to the actual tortilla. Who knows? So I'm putting down the eggy tofu first. Then I'm about to add the home fries. Some technical issues. It's a bit blurry because I couldn't figure out how to zoom it out. Here we go. I'm just adding um, some avocado slices to each taco. And I'm adding my favorite salsa again. Just a bit for a little bit of heat and flavor. Good breakfast. Um, I was actually still hungry and I wanted something a little sweet. So I decided to have toasted cinnamon squares by Mom's Best. Uh, I just had a mug of it because I had the tacos. I didn't want like a gigantic bowl like I would usually have. Some more cashew milk on top of that. I like to let it soak for a bit. And um, this would be the dinner. This is the last meal I'm showing. I'm having a really hard time cutting spaghetti squash. Um, and I had already, I poked holes in it. I put it in the microwave for three minutes, which is usually what you're supposed to do. But this one was really stubborn. Um, but what I'm going to end up doing after I get it open is uh, roasting it in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour at 400 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven and it'll it'll taste really good. Um, here I'm de-seeding it, getting all of that stuff out. I'm only showing one half, um, but obviously I did both halves before I put it in the oven to roast.
And then here I'm showing uh, a bunch of veggies, zucchini, red onion, and peas. And I'm just kind of making a stir fry to accompany the spaghetti squash. And uh, I added peanut sauce to it um, to make peanut noodles. And instead of noodles, I'm using the spaghetti squash. Really good, a kind of low-carb meal. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, try these meals out. They're really good. I recommend them. Bye, guys.